Hey guys. So in my last episode where I talked about the StarHub Gamer Plan, uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now I mentioned that I use ViewQuest and for the ViewQuest, uh, either if you're a new subscriber or recontracting, there are four options uh, that you can choose from as like a freebie or just a top up. And one of them was the uh, Rosy V2 gaming chair. So I picked that one because I mentioned that, yeah, I don't have a, a gaming chair. So I haven't used it yet. It arrived just a few days ago, but I haven't used it yet. I thought I can just do a video. So to do that, I'm going to remove this and we'll bring on this. This is the Arozi V2 gaming chair. Okay, so before we continue with this, uh, just a couple of things. So because I need more space with the chair and everything, so we're doing this a little differently. So you're probably going to see my lights, you might see my my microphone, but ah, let's not worry too much about that. Okay, so here's the chair. So this is the Arozi Verona V2. Okay, so this one, um, if I'm not mistaken, you can get on Lazada for about 429. Some, some are selling it for 429, some about 369. Uh, but basically you're looking at around there. Okay, so yeah, let's try it. Uh, so this is actually the first time I'm sitting on it. And first impressions are uh, not the best. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I think I make this chair look very small. Okay, um, I don't know. Okay, so uh, you can do some close up people. Okay, so I can move it up and down, which is good, but I can't move it forward and back. I wish I could do that because I feel like it's, it's a bit too far back. Basically, this chair is just too small for me and it's not very comfortable. Yeah, usually like this part of your chair should be like around here, I would assume. It just seems like they made it a lot smaller. In fact, okay, so you have these two like cushions here that's supposed to like, I don't know, support your lumbar, support your neck, but they're just in the wrong position for me because it's just too small. Um, this is definitely PU leather, uh, which is all right. Although one thing that really bothers me, if you can come closer, I can actually feel the frame of the chair. Don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Now, a very close friend of mine has the um, Secret Lab Titan. I forgot which one he bought. I think he bought the Omega, and that one was beautifully comfortable. It was really good padding. It wasn't super soft, but if you felt like you were being like properly supported, and it was a lot bigger than this. Um, I will give it points for overall look. I think it looks really nice. Um, now, this kind of gaming chairs, they are modeled after racing bucket seats. So you can see there's a similar style, but bucket seats have different priorities, okay? So usually they're in the car, it's more for, for fit when you sit there. It's not about comfort, it's about keeping you there when you're, uh, when you're driving and you're moving and you're turning at really fast speeds. You don't want to fly off your chair. So that's why bucket seats have more of a, a roll design and this kind of follows it. But I mean, that's not a priority for, for gaming. And back to this, you know what? I'm just going to remove this and see if this helps. How do I remove this? Ah, okay, well at least they have these clips that help. It's almost like as if they knew that more people are going to take it off. Alright. Oops. Can I put this off? Okay, I can. Okay. So now, let's try this again. <sighs> okay, it is better. Now this is in a much better position for me. But I had to remove the cushion. And I would like the cushion because I'm, I'm sure with this being so uncomfortable, uh, not so uncomfortable, pretty uncomfortable, that I would probably need some support. And again, my head is taller than the back of the chair. Well, okay, to be fair, um, not everyone is my size, okay? Um, but we should probably get a couple of people that can help us. So I'll, I'll get people of two different sizes, okay, uh, to help us out. And first one is... Okay, okay so I'm off camera. Dini, you're up next. Hi. So I'm trying this... Uh... Alright, Okay. So, my feet don't touch the floor. This is really high. Now oh. you can actually adjust it. 
Okay, how? Try the bottom one. So for Dini, it needs to go all the way down. No, I still, I still can't touch the floor. <laughs> okay, how do I adjust this? <laughs> okay. Which one? The rest? The, the armrest. Okay, so there's a leaf. Oh, okay, there, there we right go. Yeah. Okay. So this clearly does the top of the cushion does cover my head, but actually just barely. So I wonder if you were much taller, even a little bit taller, this would not be that comfortable. Yep. Um, this is okay, but again, ergonomically, this wouldn't work. I would need a cushion or two or three for me to actually hit the ground. So. I don't find it as un I don't find it that uncomfortable, but I can definitely feel the frame. But I also think I like harder chairs. So mm -hmm. if you like that kind of lack of cushioning, then you'd be happy. But it's not for prolonged use. I feel like my ass would hurt. Can I say ass? I you did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another thing that I didn't talk about was the recline, the reclining Ooh. of the back chair. So yeah, so that's the that one. Yeah. You go back. Oh, I'm not strong enough for this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how was that? Alarming. So this is the handle. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure you can see, but, but yeah, it's the handle. Okay. I don't necessarily think like this would be conducive to gaming. I just feel like I'm gonna watch a movie. Yeah, probably. No one's gonna recline it when they play, I guess. Actually, you know when I mentioned about the cushion, right? Why don't you put that and let's see if that fits you. Okay. Right? Let me go back, maybe? Yeah. So no. that's still not on your neck. No, it hits like the middle of my head, which is not ideal because I just feel like I'm being pushed forward. Yeah, yeah. and the strap is really at the right position, so it's not bad. Mm. Huh. So that just doesn't make any sense, right? No. But maybe, I mean, I'm very short, so maybe with somebody who's in the middle, medium size would work. This might work for them. Yeah, but maybe. Overall, not yeah. quite it for the shorties either. So not even for the vertical challenge. challenge. No. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> okay. All right. So thanks, Dini. You're welcome. So next is G, also known as the Wifeinator or my wife. Hi. All right. All right. So your turn. Let's try it out. Okay. Initial impressions? Initial impression. Oh, um, oh, I've tried it with a cushion before, but now without the cushion, I think it's better. It's not that bad. Yeah, let's remove the, the back cushion. Okay, yeah. let's try to remove that. Okay. I, yeah, surprisingly now it's better, but the, the, the cushion here is still hard. This is still hard, it right? It is still hard. You can feel the frame? Yeah, I can like the bar, it. Right? Yes, yeah, it's here. There you go. And this, yeah, this one helps, but I would prefer that it's it should be a bit longer. Mm. Would it help if you could move this rest forward and back? Yeah, definitely. I would think so. So initial impressions? How much is it again? So it's about between like some sellers are selling it for three hundred and sixty nine, some mm -hmm. four hundred and twenty nine. Do you think it's worth it? No, I don't think so. I think I'll buy this for two hundred. In fact. I didn't ask Dini, who is now our Boompa operator. Do you think it's worth it? No. Definitely. No, right? Yeah. yeah. And also the leg room, this is what you call the leg room. I think it's just in the middle of my legs. Yeah, actually that's a really good point. So yeah. if I'm gonna be sitting here for a long time, I would prefer that my full legs are covered. Yeah. yeah so. Cool. So, yeah. so, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. Yeah. Dini, you can't really give a thumb. Oh, you can? Wow. Well done. Okay, so that was a very, very rough uh, evaluation test. I admit, I apologize. Now, okay, so Dini, what's your initial impression of the chair? I feel like it's kind of like a budget gaming chair at luxury price. Budget? Well, yeah, uh, luxury price. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a fair point. G? I won't buy it for that price. I'm gonna buy it at a much cheaper um, Actually, that brings up an interesting question. So, how much do you think the chair is worth? Uh, I think it's about 200 because it's just like a regular office chair. Yeah, okay. about that, I would about just there? steal my office chair and bring it home. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's fair. Um, okay, so just to let you guys know, 
I've seen some other gaming chairs, like generic brands from, from, from China, and they kind of feel the same. So I won't be surprised if Arazi just bought this, these chairs from China and just like switched the brand. And yeah, that's a good point. This, practically useless. Yeah. 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 Why would you even put that? Yeah, it doesn't help. Even for, for Dini, the, the most vertically challenged. Um, it doesn't even... Petite. Yeah, <laughs> petite. Yeah, petite. It doesn't even like be at your neck, right? No. It's not even that. It's just a bit higher. Just yeah, and for me, I'm taller than the chair, so that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Now, to be fair, not all gaming chairs are like that. Uh, there are a couple of local brands. There's Secret Lab and there's APOL. Now, I'm going to try and get my hands on those to review and just show the difference because I've actually sat on a secret lab chair and I've sat on an APOL chair and they are much better. And the APOL chairs, in fact, like the base models for secret lab and APOL, they are about the same price. So why anybody would buy this Arozi chair, I I really don't know. Hey, for, for you guys, that's actually the first time you sat on a gaming chair? Um, right? No, I've when sat was... on your old gaming chair. I've never had a gaming chair. Oh, I thought so. Oh, okay, no, sorry. My, that chair is not, is not a gaming okay. chair. Uh, so <laughs> there he, you go. Yeah, so he now has an office chair and it's much more comfortable than this one. Yeah, that's a fair point. My office chair is office chair is more comfortable, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, well, anyway, so I'll, I'll try that. But in the meantime, we have the Comex Fair in Singapore coming up in about two, three weeks. Now, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be covering a few of the booths and hopefully uh, we can drop by Secret Lab and APOL and try it out. Maybe you guys can join me. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Yeah? yeah. All right, cool. So that was it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dini. Thank you, G. I'm JP and I'll see you real soon.